Okay, well, this is Leroy Diesel coming to you yet one more time. What I've got here is I've got the uh, cylinder head sitting up here, and uh, I'm trying to machine each of the uh, bolt holes to accept an O ring. Uh, these head studs have a habit of leaking, so I'm going to be putting the, the sealant on and then uh, also doing the O rings. I'll show you what that is here. Uh, right here I've just got a stud loose and on there you can see that o-ring that is around the outside diameter and what I'm doing is I'm cutting with a step drill bit just cutting just barely the surface of that and kind of almost making a cone shape uh, hole and what that does is it creates a, a, an outside diameter for this o-ring to sit in plus because of the cone shape when you put that washer on top and as this gets tightened we obviously the other end will be in the head or in the block but just for demonstration but as you would tighten the nut down on top of that washer because of the cone shape that's in the head it's going to push and even get tight get even tighter around the, uh, the stud and that's what we want um, so I'm going to put the camera back and I'll try to show you the process here a little bit show you the tools and this is by the way this is not my original idea but I liked it so much that I copied it and figured I'd show a video um, uh, I could easily thro have thrown this up on uh, one of the machines and and you know done it you know down to the thousandths of an inch uh, you know we've got full machine shop capabilities and uh, but when I saw this process I, you know I was like oh okay that's pretty simple um, so w what I've done is uh, just went to Harbor Freight and um, let me see if I can get that in the viewfinder um, so this is just a three piece step drill bit and the one I'm going to use is this middle one and what I have done I, I actually bought two of them I've modified one already and it's an, an 11 16 outside diameter is what the o-ring is and perfect that the on one of the steps the one of those steps is also 11 16 okay here's the modified tool and this is thanks to uh, Matt over at the truck stop he clued me into this but basically you can see that this surface has just been ground down I just put it on a on a grinder on a bench grinder and just ground that surface down the main reason for that is I didn't want to be making in in the cylinder head I, I, did, I wanted to take as least material out as possible so this kind of acts somewhat as a guide uh, it's not precise at all but again with this job you don't have to be that precise um, the other thing I was going to do was use cutting oil but I found I don't even want to use cutting oil because it just makes a mess with cast iron the shavings and, this, and, and also this head being brand spanking new there's literally no oil on it so any shavings just blow away I can just use compressed air and blow them away uh, if I'm putting oil on it then it uh, makes everything a mess and uh, plus I want to paint these heads and it just I don't have to clean up the oil and all that good stuff later on so let me get to it and I'll show you the process you just stick the tool down in each hole You want to check your progress as you go. Don't just do it all at one time.
So what you're looking for is for this uh, O-ring to uh, to sit down in that hole you just made because let me, well I'll show you on this one. See right there. Let me see if that's in the viewfinder. That O-ring right there. Obviously you wouldn't want to just pinch that. You'd just destroy the O-ring and you know you wouldn't accomplish anything. But what I'm trying to do is open up that hole to increase the outside diameter so that the o-ring will sit down in there and sit about halfway you want the o-ring to be about half un, um, half sticking above the head surface there the bolt hole surface and uh, you could even go where the o-ring was sitting farther down in there but as long as some of its up uh, that's all you're lo really looking for. Um, that one I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more on that. But it doesn't take much longer than what you just saw me t do there just a second ago. Yeah, that's about where I like to see it, right there. I think you can get an idea of that and then when the washer goes down on top that washer will compress the o-ring and once the washer has hit the head then you'll you know you'll be able to get your proper torque specs and all that obviously right now it's you know not down on the threaded portion because it's not even in the in the cylinder block obviously um, the other thing to take consideration of is um, I'm being pretty careful and when I go to actually do the inside bolt hole inside the, the valve train area I'm going to really be careful with that mask that off and be blowing that out about every couple seconds as I drill just to keep any of that mess all those metal shavings out of here um, I think that's about it uh, so it's a pretty quick process um, uh, yeah, so anyway, have a good day. If you have any questions, look me up on LeroyDiesel.com, and have a good day.